Crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY projects, we will be creating some beautiful decor that you can use to display your favorite florals and greenery. Now to get you all started, I have included the full supply list in the description box below. Now to all of my amazing subscribers and visitors, I wanted to say, hey, hey, and if you have not subscribed yet, you definitely should, so you can be the first to see hundreds of fresh and original craft ideas on my channel. So let's just dive in and get started. Now this project is a bicycle with a planter cart. Now we're going to need one of these bicycle pieces from the Dollar Tree. These are in the garden section and they come on a stake and they also come as a hanging piece and either one of these pieces will work for this project. Now we're also going to need one of these smaller wood crates from the Dollar Tree and here it is in comparison with the larger crate. Now we're also going to need one of these dirt bikes from the toy section at the Dollar Tree. Now we're going to start with the bicycle and we're going to go ahead and remove those tags and then we're also going to remove that large stake. Now I just did this with a pair of wire clippers but if you bend it back and forth it does snap right off this piece. Now I'm going to grab the crate because the crate will have to be attached or added some way to this little bicycle. So what I decided to do is I wanted to go ahead and detach that connecting piece between the front tire and that middle piece there as shown here. And then what I'm going to do is just kind of bend and twist that back wheel up so that it's laying flat as shown here. Now what's going to happen is when I do lay this flat and with a series of twisting and bending this metal piece, it'll provide a little shelf for that little crate to sit on between the seat and that back wheel and it'll nestle right in place. So once you decided you got your bicycle all configured, I love this little flower wheel, but it's not what I wanted for my bicycle. You could definitely keep it in there, but it's easy to remove by just trimming off with a pair of scissors. Now I'm just gonna trim off the pedal portion and leave that center portion in the middle. Now here it is, all the pedals are trimmed off and you have that middle portion there. Now to make the spokes for my bicycle wheel, you can repurpose that metal stake that came from your bicycle originally. It's really easy to do. You could just cut it into different pieces with your little wire clippers, but I thought it would be easier just to use some skewers and I have some wood skewers. You can get these from the Dollar Tree in a nice large pack. And I'm trying to decide here how I wanna attach the skewers. So I'm going to be laying these across the entire wheel. I originally wanted to cut them in half and do short spokes, but I thought laying a longer spokes might be easier for this project. So I'm cutting some pieces longer than the roundness of the wheel, and I'm just gonna add some of my wood hot glue on both sides to add this on. Now you definitely can use E6000 or some Gorilla Glue if you want to, but I'm using this wood hot glue for this project today. So once you get that first one done, we're just gonna kind of bend that little bamboo skewer. That's the great thing about these wood bamboo skewers. They do have a little flexibility. And being that I'm layering these skewers on top of each other, you will have to kind of bend them slightly so they will be able to go over each other, just as shown here. Now I'm gonna keep adding it on until I've added about four skewers all the way around. Now to hold it in place, as you add your layers, you definitely can use those Dollar Tree clips. They come in so handy while holding them in place as you add them to your bicycle wheel. And here they all are with their clip in place while they are drying. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the center and I'm just gonna add a few squeezes of that hot glue right in the center just to kind of bond them together. And then once that dries, I'm going around the wheel and trimming off the skewers that go outside of the wheel so everything is nice and trimmed off and even. Now here is my bicycle wheel all done. So once everything is nice and dry and secure, I'm gonna take it outside and give it a couple of coats of this flat black spray paint. Now while that dries, grab your small crate and two tumbling tower blocks. I'm also gonna grab that little dirt bike piece and we're gonna use just the wheels on this. So I'm just gonna snap off the wheels on the front and back end. It's just really easy to detach those. 
Now these are going to be added to our crate at the back end since this will be behind our bicycle. So what I'm going to do to hold those wheels in place, I am going to join two of the tumbling tower blocks together end to end as shown here. Now it's okay if they overlap the end, that is perfect. They will still fit this project. Now these will be holding the wheels in place. Now I'm just marking the back end where I want to put that piece that's approximately an inch down from the end. Now I am going to screw my wheels in so I'm just going to go in with a small drill bit and drill down maybe about a half inch into each end of that tumbling tower block pair. This will make sure that the wood does not split once I screw everything in. So now all we have to do is hot glue these on. Again use that line that you marked on the bottom of the crate and squeeze that down in place and then you can do a test fit to make sure those wheels are in the right place. So now that that's done, we can stain everything. I'm gonna use Waverly Antique Wax, but you could definitely use paint or traditional stain. It's all up to you. So I'm adding some wax in the lid, and I do wanna dilute this just a little bit with a few drops of water, just to stretch my product, product, and it'll actually go on a lot easier with a brush if it's diluted a little bit. So I'm gonna start with the inside, and then I'm gonna to continue to paint the outside and the edges. Now once it's all painted, it's very important to follow up with a paper towel to remove all of that excess wax and to prevent any pooling of the color. And it also allows this piece to dry a lot quicker. So definitely wipe it down with a paper towel and then let it sit to dry. So now that it's dry, we're gonna add the wheels. So I'm grabbing my screw box and the screws that I'm gonna be using are two number six, three quarter inch wood screws. Now to add them, I first like to add the screw to the wheel. So I'm gonna screw it all the way down until the screw head is flush on one end and the screw is sticking out of the other end for both of the wheels. And then I'm just gonna match the other end of the screw with the pilot hole and then screw that into the crate piece. It's so simple and easy. We're gonna repeat this for both sides. And now both of your wheels are on your little crate. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and grab our bicycle. It is nice and dry, and now we can attach our crate to the bicycle. Now the way I have my seat and the support um, bent on my piece, it actually kind of latches in, you guys. So you really don't need to attach it if you don't want them permanently attached. You don't have to glue, but if you want to, add hot glue to the base where that flower is on that back wheel, and then add your crate if you want this to be solid but as you can see you can move it around and turn it around without it being glued and it works just fine so now all you have to do is to add any of your decor and greenery and here it is you guys all decorated and it turned out so sweet now I added a few bunches of lavender to the planter for spring, but you can decorate this for every season year round. Now it'll be so much fun to see all of the different styles throughout the year. Now the motorbikes make the perfect wheels for this and together they really make a cute decor piece. Now you all have to let me know what you think about this project in the comments below. Now this project is a large planter cart with a galvanized metal top. Now we're gonna need two of these larger wood crates from the Dollar Tree, two of these corrugated metal squares from the Dollar Tree in the craft section. We're gonna need two of these toy dirt bikes from the toy section at Dollar Tree. And we're gonna need a couple of these square wood dowels. Now I did pick these up from the hardware store for 75 cents each, but you could use a round dowel if you like, and you can get these as cheap as 60 cents at Walmart. So I'm gonna start off with those little crates and I'm gonna remove the stickers at the bottom if you have some on yours. And then I'm gonna join these together for my planter and I'm joining them together side by side as shown here. Now I'm gonna be using my wood hot glue and wood glue for this. Adding my wood glue first and then going around the outside with my wood hot glue for that instant bond. Just join the two ends together, press, and then to hold them in place while you're working, I like to use those Dollar Tree clips in the middle just to hold them so they're nice and secure. 
Now for those uh, wood dowels, what I did is I cut them down to about 10 and a half inches each and I need four of these. And so these will go into the corners to hold my roof support. So I will be adding one to each one of the corners and to add them, I'm gonna be adding a combination of wood glue and wood hot glue in the corner. You could use one of the other. I just decided to use both while I was working with both. So I'm gonna add one of these dowels to each one of the corners. And there you have it. You have your four supports at the corner of your planter crate. So now we're gonna cover up those little handles on the side. What I like to do is take one of these large craft sticks. I get these in a 30 pack from Home Depot for about $1.48. And I'm just cutting them down to size where they are long enough to cover up the handles and the sides. Now, once you get those two cut, add a little bit of hot glue on each side of the opening and then press that craft stick right over it on the inside of the cart. You do wanna do this on both sides and now it's a solid piece. So now we're going to go ahead and grab those little dirt bikes and we're going to go ahead and snap apart the front and the back, remove those wheels on those pieces. Really easy to separate these and repurpose these wheels. Now I'm going to be adding two wheels to one side and two wheels to the other. And of course we're going to make some supports for them. So I'm taking the two tumbling tower blocks and I'm gluing them together. I'm going to do two sets of these so I can have wheels on the front and back of my cart. So I'm gonna figure out where the placement is. And what I decided to do was to have it about an inch and a half down. So I'm double checking my measurement just to see if, that it's about an inch and a half down, and it is. So I'm gonna copy that measurement on the other side so the wheels will be even on both sides. So here will be the placement of both of my pieces. Now before we actually glue these down, we definitely wanna drill a couple of pilot holes down into that wood piece. This will help the wood not to split when we screw in our wheels. And it's really easy to do, just, grew, just drill a hole in both sides about a half an inch down. So now that that's drilled, we could just take our wood glue or wood hot glue, add it to the bottom of our tumbling tower block assembly, and then glue it to the bottom of that crate piece along that line that we just drew. So now they're all secured in place. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a craft stick. Now what I wanna do with this craft stick is to make a hitch. So I'm taking one of these large jumbo craft sticks and I'm cutting it right down the center. Now if you have smaller craft sticks, you may not have to cut it down, but since I had extras, I'm just gonna cut this down and shape it into two pieces. And then I'm gonna form a little V as shown here to form a little hitch. So I'm trimming it down just to make sure it's not too large for my piece. And then once I um, think I got it right, I'm just gonna flip it over to make sure that it's okay. So we're gonna glue this V together at the tip of the V as shown here, or the tip of the uh, arrow pointing side. And then what I'm gonna do is take a loose bead. I have a bunch of these beads in my craft space. It doesn't matter which color, you could choose any bead that you have. Add a dot of the hot glue on the tip of that V there and then Place your bead right on the end. This will be like the little ball that's at the end of a toe hitch. I think it had the perfect little accent, so I did add that to my piece. So now that all my pieces are assembled, we can go ahead and proceed with the staining part of the project. I'm gonna be using some Waverly Antique Wax, but of course you definitely can paint or use traditional stain if you like. Now I added a little bit in my lid and I'm putting a few sprinkles of water in there, of course, to dilute my uh, product to make it stretch a little further and easier to spread. So I'm going to start on the inside of both of my crates, just applying the stain all along the inside. Now, once that is done, we're gonna continue with the outside of the crates and then follow up with a paper towel, removing all of the excess wax and stain and make sure you don't forget those supports as well. Now, in all this happiness of staining, I started to stain the hitch. Well, originally, I wanted my hitch to be black. So when that did finally dry, I went ahead and went over it with some black acrylic paint. So if you do want your hitch not to be stained in black, you don't have to stain it first. Just go ahead and add some black acrylic paint all over the piece for your project. Now,
Now, once everything is nice and dry, um, we're just going to sit that to the side and then grab our corrugated metal pieces from the Dollar Tree. If you can't find these, I'll link a tutorial in the upper right hand corner of this video of how I make it out of poster board. So we're going to take the both of the pieces. We're going to overlap them about an inch. So once they're overlapped, we're going to go ahead and separate them and then put several lines of that wood hot glue that I have in my glue gun. Of course, you can use Gorilla Glue or E6000 and join the two pieces together so we have one continuous long piece of the corrugated metal. Now, it does get really hot, so be careful. I grabbed a little cloth just to kind of smooth it down until it was cool. And now that it's nice and bonded and cool, we can work with it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start rolling this. So I'm just kind of rolling it into the letter U, little bits at a time, just squeezing and rolling until we got that nice tight letter U shape. And this is what your U will look like. Go ahead and sit that to the side. And now we're going to grab our nice dried cart. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna add our wheels to it. So we are gonna screw these in and I wanted to use a three quarter inch number six wood screw to put these in. Now to attach these, I'm just gonna unscrew them into the little wheels first, all the way down into their flush and then the other side of the screw sticks out of the other end. And then I'm just gonna line up those wheels with the little pilot holes I made in the supports there and just hand screw these in. This is so super easy. You wanna complete this all the way around the cart and now you have all four wheels ready to go. Now we can add our little hitch. So go ahead and flip it upside down and then we're gonna add it to one of the ends where the little V part sticks out at the end and then add two dollops of hot glue and press that to the bottom really nice and secure. And now we have our little hitch on the front of our little garden wagon. So now we're gonna add our little topper. Now originally I planned to glue this in place, but you guys, the corrugated metal in this has little ridges and what those ridges do is snap to these dowels. You guys, I placed it on and it was snapping into place. I was so surprised that it was actually stuck on there really well. There was actually no need to use any hot glue for this. So I did a test to make sure I shook it around, wiggled it around, it did not budge. So I skipped the whole hot gluing process of this. It worked perfect and it was sturdy. So now all you really have to do is to decorate. And there you have it. This is such a cute way to display your favorite greenery and florals. Now what I did is I placed two large potted Ikea plants inside and it filled it out perfectly with some room to spare at the top. Now these little dirt bike tires were perfect wheels for the cart too. And the hitch was so cute. Now I love the metal topper and you could distress it if you like. Now these DIYs were so super sweet, but let me know in the comments, which one was your favorite today? Now listen, if you love DIYs on a budget, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Crafty EE on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest for the latest news, sneak peeks, and giveaways. Now if you love videos like these and don't want to miss the next one, make sure you click that subscribe button below or just click my She's So Crafty logo on your screen and hit that bell to be notified when we go live. It doesn't cost a thing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.